The Rising of the Shield Hero, Tata no Yushin no Nadia Gadi, is licensed and produced by Glovision, Kurakawa, Funimation and Crunchyroll. Studios, Kinema Citrus, Networks, ATX, Tokyo MX, TVA, KBS, Sun, TVQ and BS11. Based on the works by Aniko Yusagi. Please support the official release. Hello to YouTube, Jake here with more Rising of the Shield Hero, Tata no Yushin no Nadia Gadi. Uh, hey, I got it right, I think, maybe. Font's too small. Anyway, last time we finally got to catch a break from all the constant mental and physical abuse, which is nice, which is just, you know, you get to breathe a little bit and just be happy a little bit anyway. And today's episode is going to be, where well, my name list ended up, nope, nope. Oh, there. Philo, or Philo, depending on, I guess, how you want to read it, because, well, consistent name translation is fun in Japanese, except it isn't. Anyway, yeah, that weird angel bird thing, I really don't know what she is. She's got the wings, so I guess demi-human, like, you know, uh, I'd have told you. But then again, she got this... Apparently, she's not turning into a bird, as I've been told in the comments. But it looks like in the opening, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Fun times ahead now. Well, or at least less abusive times. Well, I'm sure the uh, king and princess haven't really given up on that yet or anything, but... At least we know that, you know, two out of three of the other heroes aren't complete jerks. So... We can, we can hope, at least. At least that much has been granted to us. Anyway, let's get into the episode, uh, which even one even... Well, episode 5. <laughs> In 3, 2, 1. Ooh. Not the queen or uh, the princess? Okay, so it's the queen. Okay. Yes, very, very relieving. The neighbors? I'm thinking the fact that she just has a spy and talks with them uh, all the while her mates are dressing her up. So, like, just going by the similarity, I would assume it was the queen of, well, the kingdom we're dealing with. Oh, of course, they get individual rewards, so... Never mind our shield hero actually getting a reward out of it. Well, oh, never mind. Well, yeah, pretty much exactly that. Well, good to know that you're still around. So, at best it would be void, I'd say? We don't really need a recap, we... Remember it pretty vividly, I'd say. But oh well. We can hope! Yes! Nice people exist! How very kind of you. Yes, very great indeed. Uh, 
I love how happy she is. <laughs> like, screw the king. Who cares? <laughs> So yes, I've noticed the, uh, well, absence of a queen person. Yet a princess is around, so... There is, or at least was one at some point. Whom we've just seen, I assume. The similarity is too uncanny otherwise. <laughs> God, I'm so glad that at least these two got a... You know, honest bone in their body. For what it's worth, I suppose the sphere isn't per se an asshole, he's just kinda, you know... Perhaps things have gotten a bit to his head and all that. But oh well. Oh wait, that other one was like the... Spy, no? Well, spy, I don't know what really. But, you know, the person with the mask who was informing the queen. I just don't know what she was talking about with the neighbors. I mean, I suppose the neighboring country, but have we seen them yet? I don't think so. And wouldn't they be equally interested in there not being waves of demons going on? Wait, you re enslaved her? That's neat. <laughs> no, actually, really, that's kind of amazing. Well, if developed. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you for that information. <laughs> He's considering it. I mean, not really, but you get the joke. Well, that explains the name. Okay. Well, that would be neat now, wouldn't it? <laughs> Again, I don't know why, but I really like this guy somehow. Apparently she can, yes. She has been holding her on fairly well so far. Well, I mean, he kind of saved the whole place, so... <laughs> I mean, I'm sure some would have escaped anyway, but ah, uh, Failed. At least we're seeing the effects of his deeds, even if the king doesn't give a shit or tries to sabotage him in every way. Well, technically the princess and she has influence over the king for some reason. Okay. Well, that's convenient. Isn't that like usually what green wires are for though? I 
I mean, you know, this is fantasy, so you more or less get to make up the rules as you want. As the author, I mean. So, you know, whatever. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. <clears throat> I mean, I don't really know if she knows how to read. She was a slave, but like, you know, not always, so... And it's hard to judge her age if it's apparently related to her uh, skill level thing. That's adorable. Ooh, it's hatching. I mean, or not, or yes, or no. Well, hi. Yes, whatever it is. Well, it's Philo, but yes. You're just carrying around that, I don't know what better to call it, the freaking oversized chicken. And yeah, obviously it's eating a lot. Well, see, there you go. Well, apparently they are fast too. So, that's good. Well, you're one to talk. Yes. The epitome of creativity. Well, that's always great. Yay, it's her again. Yeah, no, despite what I said earlier, I really don't like this guy. Well, yeah, of course. What? They're ridiculous fees? Of course they're gonna accept this. What are they gonna do about it? <laughs> no, no, it works perfectly like that. Because he's the fabulous spear hero. Yes, like the Queen's people or something. Also, apparently she was just about to give uh, the order for attack, so... Well, that again. Yeah, I mean, he was pretty much okay with you guys just being, I don't know what... Well, you've got the bird thing going for you. Apparently it's fast. Well, go figure.
But apparently, like, the dragon was the jackpot, so... I don't know. I mean... Yeah, like, as far as I know, you don't really have anything to lose here. I mean, the villagers are screwed either way. Is it now? Well, aren't they getting along? Yeah, he's been pretty, I want to say, upbeat as of late. Which probably has more to do with uh, just Riftalia sticking with him. Rather than just uh, the other heroes actually defending him. Though, of course, if you can have both, then all the better. Well, what's going on? You're being left behind. <laughs> I like this thing. So, it's not that Philo can turn into a bird, it's more the other way around, huh? Oh no, they're going to cheat! What? What a surprise. So at this point, I'm actually more sure that the really only reason the prince is sticking with him because he's easily manipulated. If you have that, why didn't you use that rather than the earth hole? It seems a lot more subtle. <laughs> well, in your face, man. Again, if you can't do that, why didn't you just do so in the first place? Like, both together. You don't need to discard your previous cheat. Yep, that sort of thing. <laughs> So it's amazing that uh, apparently Philo not only can keep up with the Drang, but is faster than it by a long shot. Given that it's only even close because they cheated. Victory! More than anything, it's just in mine's face, so I'm thinking that. Well... We'll see how easy that goes. Well, that's a thing now. <laughs> well, of course. More like, was that a condition? Well, in your face, once again. In your face, three times. <laughs> mm. 
well, you're like kind of an important person, despite everybody just kind of being up against you. Well, except, oh, how kind of you. Get well soon! <laughs> Honestly, the fact that he was able to raise with that is kind of amazing. Well, yeah, after that, like, initial speech he gave... Well, but others would. I don't know, lodging or something? Or means of transportation also work? <laughs> I, I love it, it's gonna be so happy. <laughs> I don't even know why I found it funny. <laughs> really, then. I've had that problem too as a kid, so. Well, it wouldn't really be motion sickness if you developed a fever over it. Are there severe cases like that? I don't even think so. Well, he is doing a lot of trades and that's pretty much his only way of actually getting some income going, so... <laughs> I really like this thing. I don't know at what point it turns into a, like, person thing, though. Well, now, apparently. So, that just happened. And she's probably also nude. I mean, go figure. Clothes don't just magically materialize. <laughs> What's the music even? You're too adorable. <laughs> Well, in a similar sense to what happened to Raftali, I suppose, uh, the development through experience and skill, although I would say the transition from that, I don't even know what to probably call it, ostrich looking thing, then to the giant chicken, now nah, girl, what a random line of evolution. <laughs> no, but uh, at least, like, when you go with Japanese folklore like yokai and so on, the, like, I'm gonna say partially human appearance usually comes with age, like uh, normal animals or even other types of monsters beyond a certain age would just become yokai demons type of things. Like, ah, what's it called? Nekomata or something?
which are like basically uh, I think the type of cat, well, cat yokai that you get when a cat lives to a certain age or something. A new comrade. That's fair enough, a title, I suppose. Well, now I'm curious. Well, I'm not gonna read the whole thing, but no, I was actually talking about the one with the two tails. Oh, was it a buck in a cup, perhaps, then? Hmm. According to its name, its account it has changed into a yokai. Yeah. I know there was another one, but I couldn't think of the name right now, so... Yeah. Apparently, this thing is pretty ambiguous. Anyway, like, yeah, just... I suppose, based on that idea, somewhat, that Philo just gained human appearance. Maybe, maybe not. Like, I don't really know how much experience she's gotten. The first two days was pretty much just feeding her. And then she, like, exploded in growth. And now she just won a race against the dragon, so that's a thing. Mind you, the dragon was supposed to be the jackpot of that little lottery. So, I don't really know what he did different. Is it just supposed to be like that he cared so much for her? Because I'm pretty sure if that was all it took, then there would be more of them. I mean, I get the general that like, discrimination system is a thing that exists in this world, because, you know, slavery. Uh, but just because of that, if you could acquire higher quality monsters just by caring for them, I'm pretty sure someone would do that. You know, if nothing else and as a business model. It's kind of like, you know, real life farms or a thing where you care for the animal because the quality gets better or something. I don't know, I'm not a farmer. Uh, yeah, so I don't really know. Maybe it was just a, like one in a million chance that he he'd gotten really lucky with the type of monster he got out of the egg. That it was a specialty. I'm sure someone will tell me. Or maybe we will figure out next episode. Since it can talk now. Like Philo can talk. I probably should say her instead of it. Uh, yeah, that stuff. Other than that, this was just a like, you know, nice episode. We've had the... Uh, uh, just, god damn it, I keep remembering and forgetting the stupid bitch princess name, Malti. I think I called her mine in between. That was my bad. Uh, yeah, Malti. Oh. Malti mine Sophia, whore, bitch, twitch, Melchromark. That's a fascinating nickname. <laughs> Mine, Sophia, whore, bitch, Twitch. What's even Twitch? I don't know. Yeah, notorious for manipulating others. Which is kind of the point, I suppose, like, uh... Spear Hero. I know I have his name right here, I just don't feel like actually remembering it since he's a dick. So... Yeah, Spear Hero. Uh... It's pretty much the easily manipulated type. Which is why she's sticking with him. If so, keen eye on her for like picking him out so fast as the manipulative type. I mean I get that like the fir her first pick technically was uh Naofumi, since well he was easy prey at first, I'm gonna say, but uh like after that that she would switch to effectively the best hero. Well he's a playboy, like not really much going on in his head, I suppose. Yeah. And other than that, we've got the Queen now, apparently. Doing the shield heroes on favors, which is great. We've got an ally, like a powerful ally. Not just some little jurors who were about to get taxed to have a loving shit out of them. Like, seriously, how are you fine with this? First of all, you've just been told how much you're effectively taxing them. Like, 15 nights worth. Have you ever slept in a hotel? Like, just, you know, booked a vacation? Imagine that times 50. For, like, just visiting the village. Their trade would be dead. Like, nobody's paying that. 
Uh, yeah. Then, of course, she was apparently going to attack the villagers, which he was also fine with, I suppose. So, yeah, we've got the queen intervening and her little squad of, I don't even know what they are, like her closest elite members or something, since Malti was actually stopped in her tracks by them. Which, you know, never mind that she's kind of a selfish bitch. Uh, she's also the princess, so... I suppose they sort of carry the authority of the queen with them as they go. But yeah. Anyway, we've got Alice. So that's good. Happy, happy, happy times ahead. I mean, he fact he's just been like made no wait, he hasn't been made lord. That wasn't what the race was about, right? Uh I thought it was like about who gets to quote unquote own the village. What do I even mean quote unquote? It's literally that literally was what it was, no? Uh dang it, Hatamosia. Let me check real quick. Dang it. Dang it. Let me check. Uh. No. 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 Come on. So yeah. Shield hero. Issue the challenge. Fight us for the right to rule the village. So, I suppose by him winning, uh, it's not that he has been made lord, it's just that the uh, current lord stayed in power, or whatever. Or maybe he was, I, I just I would find it weird that as the lord, he would still like get a reward from them for traveling, that doesn't make any sense, so he probably isn't. And also, you know, like the princess, uh, Malty, generally wants to give him as little as possible. So, I suppose, just leaving the status quo rather than making him lord is what's going on. That was a butcher sentence, if I've, any, if I've ever seen one. Uh, yeah, so much for the current state of things. I suppose that will have to be all for now, so until next time, see you then.